So social media, how much of a, an impact uh, in terms of uh, public awareness comes through social media compared to uh, legacy mainstream media? Well, I think social media is such an interesting place because, because it has become, just like in old times, the city square. If in ancient times people would come to the city gates and yell and argue, nowadays we see that social media has become this very uh, thing, that people are coming on social media to converse. It is only on social media that you can find people, uh, that I as an Israeli Jew, I can speak with people from Syria, from Iran, from Iraq, from uh, all the neighbors in, in one place. And it has been a powerful tool in educating people and letting people know the real side of Israel that is not being portrayed by the mainstream media. So for me, that has been a blessing to be able to share the real story of Israel. And I see that it does affect a lot. Of course, with mainstream media, there used to be standards of professional journalism that they used to uphold. Nowadays, in mainstream press, we see that they've abandoned all those restrictions in terms of balance, objectivity, and then uh, uh, people will look for sources on social media that, that they can trust. But also what comes in are uh, untrustworthy sources and people have a, a difficult time believing what's true and what's true now. Now Israel's uh, legitimacy is at stake. What's, what's that world like in social media trying to defend Israel in, in, uh, among a, a world of what could be, does Hamas uh, tell the truth in terms of uh, casualties, civilian casualties statistics for instance? So like, like you said, nowadays mainstream media that has long neglected the agenda to report facts and news. Uh, unfortunately, we live in a world where almost every mainstream outlet, um, mainstream media outlet, have a political agenda. So they do not share the real side of, of Israel or report the facts, but rather align it with the channel's political agenda. So I'm very happy with social media that, that uh, breaks this uh, barrier between uh, the people and the truth. They Nowadays, they don't need to go on the news to know what's going on, but uh, to hear directly from people on the ground. So I think that we see that because uh, news outlets take Hamas's words and report what they're saying, and that has become a big, big problem. Because of course, uh, of course Hamas um, is the ruling dictatorship in Gaza, so they have every interest to lie and they, they use their own civilians cynically to uh, use them for propaganda. We just have seen on social media this viral video cycling of uh, Hamas terrorists handing food to Palestinian children and as soon as and they recorded giving them food, as soon as the recording ended, they took the food back. So um, I don't know if the mainstream media would, would put the clip of them handing them food and saying that Hamas cares for Palestinians, but we see on social media the full picture. Um, it's a place where also lies exist, so I'm very happy that I'm able to counter the lies with the facts.